Hello there everyone, my name's Lost and welcome to my new series. I'm calling this Let's Build a Game as that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, in this first series we're going to make a Binding of Isaac clone and in this first particular video we're going to create a character and we're going to make him move around. So um, I will be teaching you how to use Game Maker, how to code, things like that, and basically just how to put a game together. So to start with we are going to create a new sprite and we're going to call him SPR player Oop. and you're going to hit edit sprite and we're going to create a new sprite and just make that 64 by 64 now what we're going to do is we're going to color this we will make him green I think well I am a little bit color blind um, but I do believe that's green so let's fill it green and there is our player character. Now, one thing we are going to do, because this is the player, is on origin we're going to set that to center. Um, essentially what that means is that as we move the character, it will be from the center rather than, you know, let's say, the top left. Um, because just imagine that wherever the origin is, that's going to be the center of the object. So if the, if the origin's up there, um, the ga the game is basically going to assume that that is the center of your character. And when you move, it will be just really odd and not correct. Um, but actually, you know what? Let's leave it at zero zero, and we will change it later. And I'll show you exactly what I mean when we come to move the character. Um, anyway, let's now create a object this will be obj player and we are simply going to link it to our um, player sprite now what we're going to do something really nice and simple is we're going to hit ok and we're now going to create the room um, and the room is essentially where your game takes place um, so this is we're just going to call this room stage one and if you go on objects and it should say object player we're just going to put that in here because that is us and we're going to get him moving basically so let's just hit the play button up here to test that everything is okay so far and then it's actually working so it's going to compile down here and yep yeah, there we are Obviously we cannot move yet, nothing works, I'm hitting WSD, nothing's happening, clicking, nope. So what we're going to want to do then is we're going to go to add event um, and we're going to hit the step button and step. Now what, all, what, what the step does essentially is every frame the game is going to be checking this step event and whatever actions are inside the step event. So in this case we're going to hit control and we're going to drag in this code box here and essentially we're going to write some code. Um, so we'll start off really nice and simple. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make the character move. So the code for that would be if um, open bracket keyboard check, open bracket again, odd, open bracket once more, capital W, and then we will close those brackets like that. And then at the very end you want to open up these brackets, um, and in there we're going to write y minus minus equals 5. So. Let's just um, go through this, shall we? It's really nice and simple to start with. We're saying if keyboard check, which means if that button that we've just entered there is down, then the Y will minus equal 5. Now, what is the Y? You have to think of this as though your character is on an axis. Okay, So you've got your Y, which is from top to bottom, and you have your X, which is from left to right. Um, zero being at the top and whatever your room height would be at the very bottom and X 
zero, so minus would be towards the left, and the plus um, is going to be the right side of your screen, and that is whatever the room width is um, at the very end. So let's just copy that three times. One, two, three. So we'll change that to S, A, and D. Now, obviously, for S, because we're moving down, we want that to be plus to the Y axis. Left and right are obviously, they need to change to the X axis. Now, A, we know, is got to be takeaway because we're going left. And D, we're going right, so we have to add to the Y axis. Now, let's just give that a little check to make sure that's working OK. and obviously it is. We're able to move diagonally up, down, left, right. Now what you'll notice actually is a slight problem here is that as you're moving left and right that's fine but when you move diagonally you seem to go really fast. You know like really really fast. Um, and what, essentially what's happening there is um, it's uh, as you're pressing two of these keys it's doing these together and, and it just makes you move really fast and it looks it I mean I, I guess you could you could have that if you want but we're, we're going to fix that we're, we don't really want that so instead what we'll do is in add event we are going to click create um, and again we'll drag some code in there now all the create event does is it will set these actions as this object is created. So all we want in this object is a variable for now and we're going to call this variable move speed and we will make it equal zero. Um, oh make sure you put these at the end of your code by the way this is just a semicolon and it's just to signify that that is the end of the code. So we're going to let, going to OK that. Then back in your step event we're now going to change this to move speed. Just all of them. Now, currently, the move speed is zero. So that's no good. That just means we're not going to move at all. Um, so we need to come up with something here that is going to set the move speed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to check for two key presses, we're going to check for all the diagonals and we're going to set a lower move speed than we are if you're only holding one movement key. And the way we're going to do that is like this, so we're going to go if keyboard check odd um, w and keyboard Check odd um, A for top left. So if they are both pressed, then the move speed is going to equal 4, like that. And to speed this up a little bit, let's copy that three more times. So 1, 2, 3. So we have W, A, we need W and D for up and right. We also need S and S, and that one will be S, um, S, D. So what we have there is essentially, if you're holding two buttons, like I said, your move speed will be 4 else at the very bottom your move speed will equal 5 so it, what that means is if the if any two of these buttons are pressed like this um, then the move speed will be 4 so it'll be slower well if you just hold in one button down so else so that means basically if anything else then your move speed is 5 so let's check that out real quick and see if it works. Oh, what we're we missing. Um, 
object player line two. Oh, okay. So we've had a compile error. Um, this is essentially saying. I mean, it tells you what's wrong. Um, so at line two in the object play step event, we are missing a end bracket. Now, where does this want it? Ah. So if you if you look at this, if you click to the left of the bracket, you can see where the bracket leads to. Now. This one is red, and that's because I forgot to put the, the, the closing bracket at the very end of this. So let's add those in. Right. Now it should work. So let's see if what we have so far actually works or not. So we can move up, right, down, and left. But you'll notice, actually, if we move diagonally, it's, it's still a little bit fast. It's still a little bit fast. Um, and actually, something something we, we do need to do here is on each of these, we need to put else. Because we only want one of these to be true at any given time. Um, let's just check that again. Make sure I've actually got that right. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it still might be a little fast. You can play with the number there. I think that's all right, actually. I think that's okay. Um, but you can play with the, the move speed numbers here to um, um, essentially make it faster or slower. So if you want it faster, you move it higher. And if you want it slower, you would decrease it. Um, so yeah, I think that'll do for the first episode, guys. Where you have your character, we have him moving. Um, and in the second episode, I think we will look at firing tears. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will catch you next time.